My name is Larissa. In this video, I'm going to show you how I made this crop cap that I'm wearing. I designed the sewing pattern for it myself. If you have questions, definitely write in the comments. The first step is to iron your fabric. The next step is to print out my pattern, cut it, tape it, and use it to make your own beautiful scrap caps. The pattern is available, the link to it on the right at the top of the screen. For the side part of your scrap cap, you need to fold your fabric, then align the center of the pattern with the fold of the fabric. Your next step is to trace all around your side part of the pattern. Remove the paper pattern and pin together both layers of the fabric on your side part. The next step is aligning the top part with the edge of your fabric. Then trace around the top part of the side cap. When you remove both paper patterns, you need to cut the fabric out. For the side part, cut both layers of the fabric and make sure that all your lines are nice and straight so that it's easier to work with your fabric later. For the top part, you need to cut out only single layer of fabric. Go all around, cut it nice and clean. I am marking the wrong side of fabric with a cross on both parts of my scrap cap, so I know which one is which. The ties on my scrap cap are going to be reinforced with zigzag stitch, so I am marking where my zigzag stitch begins and ends. Next step is to prepare the side part for sewing. First, I fold down and iron the short end of the tie. Then I fold down and iron the curvy part at the beginning of the tie. That's where my zigzag stitch will be. I do the same thing on the other side. I fold down the short end and then iron and I fold down the curvy part at the beginning and finish at the end where I just marked. The next step is folding down the seam. On the curvy part, it will be the second fold, and I iron down. I do that very, very carefully, and I sprinkle all the water so that my ironing is really high quality. So you see I'm folding the seam, and then I'm making the second fold on the curvy part. I do it dry first, then I sprinkle and make sure that all of it is nice and clean and ready to go. The ends of my ties need to be ironed down like this. You see, the direction is different. To do that, I'm going to iron out the fold at the bottom of my scrap cap and go all the way down the bottom, folding the seam allowance and ironing it. Now I spray some water, fold uh, my tie the opposite way and iron down so it's nice and clean. I continue ironing down the seam allowance at the bottom of my side part all the way to the other end. And once I am there, see I'm sprinkling again to make sure that all my lines are very clean because a lot of ironing produces professional look and that's what you're after, right? So we are going to the very end of the second tie and then we are changing the direction of the fold at the very end. Ironing it flat, then folding it again. And for some reason, probably because I'm right-handed, I folded it on the other side. I flipped it around and here it is, very nice and clean. Once interlocked, the ends of the ties should look like this. I'm going to interlock my corners of the ties. 
then sprinkle them with some water and iron. Make sure to align the edges of your tie. Then fold down and iron all the way through the bottom of your uh, side scrap cap. You iron uh, your hem so that it is around uh, half an inch width. You go all the way to the other end, then you interlock the corners on this end of the tie and sprinkle with water and iron down and make sure that the edges of the tie align with one another so it's all nice and clean. Fold some more and continue ironing until the bottom of your scrap cap side part is done and your corners look just like this. We are finished with the ironing and we are going to reinforce the um, beginning of the ties with zigzag stitch. Do it on both sides of the scrap cap side and you will see that they look just like that. Seams are reinforced. There is zigzag stitch at the beginning of both ties. I tie the knots at the uh, beginning and cut off the excess thread at the top and my ends need to look just like that. I'll show you how to do it. I start with the left tie making sure that my sewing is uh, wrong side up. At the very beginning in the corner, you have to help the mechanism of your sewing machine. Do it practically manually uh, and do the same on the corner. Just do it stitch by stitch. After you pass the corner, the machine can uh, pull the fabric by itself. Make sure that your needle hits fabric and not the air on both sides of the stitch, left and right. And you continue on the bottom, stitching up the hem and continue to the end of the other tie. At the very end, you also help the machine and you practically do it manually, stitch by stitch, after you turn the corner. The last step to finish my ties is to hide the thread that's hanging off of them between the layers of fabric. I stick the needle between the layers of fabric, thread the leftover thread through the needle, pull the needle through and cut off the uh, threads that are hanging out. Now it's all nice and clean. The next couple of steps, we are working on the top part of the scrap cap. We need a guide for elastic tape. To create it, we fold fabric twice, one third of an inch, iron it down so it's nice and clean, and put a straight stitch through it so that we can later thread the elastic through that guide. In the next step, we need to put elastic tape through the guide and secure on both ends. We need 3 inches of elastic tape and a safety pin. Attach safety pin to your elastic tape, push the safety pin through the uh, guide, align uh, the end of the elastic tape at the end of the uh, guide, secure it with a pin, then push it through to the other end and secure with another pin. It looks nice and clean and ready to go. The next step is finding center on the top part of the scrap cap, marking it with a pin, then finding the center on the side part of the scrap cap and marking it with a pin also. We need that because those are two points where we align the top and the side facing each other with the right side and we pin them together. We need to finish pinning together the side part and the top part. We start at the end where the elastic guide and the zigzag on the tie meet. Then we go to the other side and do the same. We pin the uh, tie where it starts with the zigzag to the elastic tape. Now that top part and side part are connected in the center and on both ends, Continue pinning those parts together. 
They should lay flat. I designed the uh, pattern so there are no ripples between those pins. It should lay flat for you and look really nice and clean and ready for sewing. After pinning is finished, your scrap cap should look just like this, ready to go under the needle. Use straight stitch and start at one end. Continue stitching all around, pulling the pins out as you go. Continue a straight stitch all the way to the end. Once you are done with the straight stitch, don't cut the thread, just flip around your scrap cap because now we are going to put zigzag stitch. Change your settings and start stitching all around to the other end. As you approach your zigzag stitch to the end, make sure that it's very, very close to the straight stitch. I like hiding the uh, ends of the thread between the layers of fabric. So I tie the knot, then I uh, cut the thread, stick the needle between layers of fabric, thread the thread through the needle, pull uh, the thread through and cut it off cleanly. To finish with my scrap cap, I need to clean up this last seam, the zigzag seam. If you have a um, serger and use serger to do that seam, you will not have to do this, but I only have zigzag, so that's what I do. I cut off all the um, leftovers of fabric. So my um, scrap cap last seam looks nice and clean on both sides, on the right side and on the left side. You can see that it has ample length for the ties to create a knot when in use. Nice and clean. To call our product a finished one, we need to do one more thing. We need to iron around the last seam so it looks professional. It's a lot of spraying with the water and a lot of ironing, but that's a necessary step to make your product look professional and clean so that people who wear it for work are enjoying it. Thank you for watching my video and good luck sewing your own scrap caps. As a reminder, the link to the sewing pattern is at the top of your screen on the right. Thank you.